They are most serious and it's uh, uh, urgently need that we address this issue. And I'm very happy that in yesterday's meeting of the Bureau, we decided to set up an external independent investigation, investigative body, which will shed light on these allegations of corruption of members or former members of this assembly. It's absolutely necessary and I have pushed for it since the past few months to have this, uh, this investigation. I'm most happy that it is now decided. I never react on rumors. I don't know what has happened and that's why I have been an advocate since the beginning of these rumors for, to have an independent external investigative body to look after these uh, uh, rumors and accusations. And I hope that we will not only go and follow rumors, we are going to look to, to serious accusations. One of our former members is now on trial in Italy on the accusation of having received uh, a lot of money. Uh, but I will not react on rumors because this is exactly what we now need to stop. We, we have to stop rumors and we have to give clarification uh, to the assembly and that's why we have decided to have this external investigative body. Yesterday we have decided on the on the framework of the, uh, of, the, of the examination, we have decided on who we are going to ask to participate in, the, in, the, in this uh, independent uh, uh, expert uh, committee. We have decided on the, the terms of reference and we have decided on uh, when, we will, uh, uh, we, when we will need the answer, the proposals of this investigative body to the Bureau and to the Assembly that will be on the 31st of uh, December of this year. No, this is exactly the opposite. We have our internal structures. Mr. Ian Miller Granger is uh, working on a report on the Code of Conduct and how to update that. But we ask for this external independent investigation because members of our Assembly are involved. We do not have rules that deal with this and therefore we will ask experts to do this job and uh, they will be esteemed people uh, with knowledge of our institution, knowledge of the assembly and uh, it, it will be this group that is going to advise the bureau of the assembly and the assembly how to deal uh, with uh, the results that they have found. We cannot afford any doubt on the credibility and the integrity of this house because we are entitled by 47 member states to give our advice how to uh, prevent uh, things as corruption, uh, indecent behavior, uh, manipulation and the only way that we can do, is, do this if we are totally trustworthy, uh, credible. Uh, and that our integrity is not at doubt uh, at any moment by any person. So we have to clean the house in order to make this house again the house of democracy, rule of law and uh, human rights. I'm sure that we will be able to do so because I'm sure that the vast majority of my colleagues and my former colleagues do a great job here and we have to clean up uh, the, the, what happened by some of our members and some of our former members. So our credibility is at stake, but I'm convinced that we will be able, after the decisions that we have taken this week, to solve that in a very appropriate way. It is one of the reasons to say we have to act, we have to now, quickly, transparently, and in a, in a, in a very uh, appropriate way. It has costed quite some uh, time. It has costed a lot of discussions, but I'm very happy that we now have decided there will be an independent uh, uh, external investigation to shed light on allegations about possible corruption of members or former members. And then I think that we will be able to clean the house and to have this house again as the, one of the major institutions in Europe to shed light on what is happening in our member states. I think uh, we will be able to do it, but we do, should do it now, we should do it quickly and we should do it transparently.